the purpose uh, of these clips uh, is to give you the tools to start increasing the skillfulness in, in the way you operate the, the body and your mind. Uh, knowing the different parts of, uh, of the system, the thing that you are, your internal and your ex external space, and uh, knowing the different parts and how they work and start exploring and start increasing your skillfulness. So there are three main parts of the system that we are. The first part is uh, the control that controls the two other parts. The, the three parts are uh, the breath, the body and the mind. And the breath uh, controls both the body and the mind. Um, in Sistema we are uh, taught how to lead with the breath and also in, uh, in Buddhism the meditation on the breath the breath basically controls the whole thing. The intention controls the breathing and the breathing controls the activity. So leading with the breath in Sistema you breathe into the movement or with meditation you use the breathing to uh, control and adjust your state of mind so you have many different kinds of breathing in Sistema we are taught to breathe in with the nose out with the mouth uh, you can read up on this if you want to know more about why in meditation we are taught to breathe both in and out with the nose because we want one-pointed concentration at the gate of the nose. So we'll look more about that in a little bit. So the breath is the first part, knowing how to control the breath, how to guide the breath with, uh, with our intention is a very important skill should be perfected. I'm in the process of practicing these things myself, but I know enough to be able to at least share the tools with you so that you yourself can start exploring. The second aspect is the body. The clips I am going to post is uh, concerned with how to strengthen your body, how to, to learn how to move the body and uh, to increase the skillfulness in, uh, in operating the body. The last part is the mind. The mind is the internal space where uh, everything shows up for you. The senses show up in the mind. The voice of the mind shows up in the mind. Your thoughts show up in, in the mind. Your memories your feelings, everything basically shows up in the mind. So uh, now I'm going to uh, show you a game that I have made. It's called, uh, it's a meditation game, it's called Mindful Monkey Guarding the Gates. And it's a game based on the Buddha's teachings on mindful breathing. So, uh, without further ado, here is the meditation game. Hope you enjoy. All you need to play Mindful Monkey Guarding the Gate is to take a few deep breaths with, uh, with your whole body. And... Uh, you, you breathe in and out through the nose and then you try to relax the body and the mind by taking relaxed, more and more relaxed breaths. I'm gonna take a few relaxed breaths here. Already here you can start looking down towards, towards your nose. You look down bec because you don't want your um, 
your field of vision to be like flooded with all these other phenomena that distracts your meditation practice. So you look down along the ridge of the nose and then you take more relaxed breaths. Now, when we take relaxed breaths, our intention is to take relaxed breaths. Our attention should be on the feel of the body and on the feeling of the breath going in and out of the body. So first we feel the breath, the whole of the breath in the, in the stomach and in the chest. The, the goal is, after we have calmed the body and the mind a little bit and brought it under control, it doesn't run everywhere. We try to bring our mind to one-pointed concentration at the gate of the nose. The gate of the nose is the point where the cold air first touches the skin of the nose, where you first feel the air, and where the warm air last touches the nose. So it's this feeling. It's not. It's not what you're looking at. It's uh, the f the feeling of air going in and out through that one point each in and out breath you try to feel the, the whole of the out breath and the whole of the in breath at this point you try to maintain your uh, attention at this point and continuously feel the breath going in and out and if you are successful at this first your, your monkey will jump here and there but then just remember the three qualities of phenomena and uh, remember that yeah, you can fairly early realize that uh, phenomena, if you attach eye and mind to them, they, they will disturb your mind. And they are impermanent, so they will pass anyway. So if you, if you know this about phenomena, it will be much easier for you to let the phenomena go without being attached to them or creating eyes and minds or creating stories about them. And then uh, each and every time a phenomena shows up, you let it be as it is and then go back to the gate of the nose feel continuously feel the air going in and out through that one point and then when you are successful at this you will feel this this sensation first it will be very weak and then it might change a little bit and then it will become stronger and then it will become weaker and then you will become distracted and then you will forget it and make up stories about it and then you will remember that you're meditating and then you will bring it back to the point again and then it will you will remember that is the feeling and then the feeling will change a little bit and then it will become stronger and then after you've done this enough then it will be progressively stronger and your mind will become concentrated in this one point which is really cool which is what we want it's a concentration and insight game what you're really doing is you're increasing the skillfulness of your skillfulness your ability to concentrate this is the most important skill you can have it will be the foundation skill by which you increase all your other skills and once you attain the ability of maintaining one-pointed concentration for any amount of time, you're going to find out that that's a completely new world for you to play around with. It's a much cooler game to play than World of Warcraft. Because it will give you all these uh, really far-out cool experiences, much cooler than uh, any, t any kind of intoxication and much cooler than playing a game someone else made that you play for like hundreds or thousands of hours and gaining some level in some imaginary character that that you can't do anything with except spend more time on so with this skill you'll have all these far out experiences and you'll gain all these new abilities, like the, the ability to concentrate deeply on a subject for, or on, or on a, an activity for, for a long time. Which is really cool. It enables you to learn anything you choose much faster than you would normally do, because normally when we study something, we're half the time or more, we're distracted by all kinds of stories and phenomena. 
So this will uh, enable you to gain control over your own mind, your own body and your own activities. It's really the best game in the whole world. I didn't invent this game, actually it was the Buddha who invented the game. I only make it look like a game because it's it's easier to do it if it's if it can be perceived as fun and there are many similarities to playing a game like World of Warcraft in that you increase your skill points and, and then when you combine it with a little bit of martial arts too it's not it's not terribly different except that it's you who are gaining the levels and the skill points you can even play this game while playing World of Warcraft if you if you have to play that game you don't really have to you think you have to, you have a story about that you can't drop it but what you really can't drop is this I, that is, uh, this label and this story about you being attached to this game. If you really want to, you can stop it. So, but th the best way to stop something is to find a better and more tasty and more fun activity to replace the old activity. So, uh, don't force yourself to start, uh, stop World of Warcraft just because I said so. Develop your uh, meditation monkey game, and after some time, if you play it, if you really want to get good at it and you play it just a little bit, then you will start to like it, and uh, World of Warcraft won't seem that cool anymore. So that's the meditation game, Monkey Mind Guarding the Gate. Hope you enjoy that too.